Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. Today we will be doing the questions from the Bangle sellers. We have already studied the poem. We have read line by line. I have explained you all the meanings of these lines and also explained you the inner meaning of the poem. So today we are going to deal with the probable questions and answers. We will discuss the probable questions which is the most important questions that normally come in the exam. Let's read the questions from the first stanza. Stanza 1. Bangle sellers are we who bear our shining loads to the temple fair. Who will buy these delicate bright rainbow tinted circles of light for happy daughters and happy wives? So from here the first question is what? What do you mean by shining loads? This is the word which you have to give the meaning for. Shining loads. What is the meaning of shining loads? Bangle sellers are carrying what? They are carrying the bright bangles. So that is obviously the load which they are carrying. So the answer will be shining loads refer to the shining bangles which are being sold by the bangle sellers. See there is the marks also written down over here. This is written why? So that you can understand how much you have to write for this particular answer. Question number one part A answers answer is only shining bangles you will have to write in a complete sentence mark is one half mark for shining half mark for bangles next part is what who come to buy these bangles for the people for whom these bangles are sold they are young unmarried girls that is you can also write maidens brides the ones who are going to be married soon you can also write that and the middle aged married woman you have to write this one so one two and three. They are the three kinds of women for whom these bangles are being sold. Okay, so two marks are here. Next we'll move to question number two from the same stanza. Question number two reads, which figure of speech is used? Figure of speech, a very important part. I have a separate video where I have explained all the figure of speeches. Okay, so uh, figure of speech used in the line rainbow tinted circles of light. This is already discussed over there. So rainbow tinted circles of light, the figure of speech used here is metaphor. You will also have to see there the amount of marks allotted over here is 3. So you will have to write what figure of speech is used here. You will also have to write what do you mean by a metaphor. You will have to say that it is a comparison between two separate things without using like or as. Next you will have to say where are the comparison between which two things we are comparing the bangle sellers have multicolored bangles with them which is compared to the colors of the rainbow the various colors of the rainbow similarly the uh, the sellers also sell a huge number of differently colored bangles which is compared with one another next we'll move to the second stanza questions from the second stanza i'm reading the stanza uh, the stanza number two See, some are meet for a maiden's wrist, silver and blue as the mountain mist. Some are flushed like the buds that dream on the tranquil brow of a woodland stream. Some are aglow with the bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves. First question is what? What type of bangles is suitable for a maiden's wrist? What type of bangles? The second stanza is a complete explanation of the different types of bangles, different colors of bangles which are suitable for a young unmarried woman. What are the colors? Color number one, blue. Color number two, silver. These are the color of bangles which is similar to the silver mist of the mountains. There are also the pink bangles which is similar to the buds or the flowers or the clear dew drops of newborn leaves. These are the colors which are suitable for a maiden's wrist. Next part is what? Why are silver and blue colors compared to the mountain mist? Why are these two colors compared to the mountain mist? Amount of marks allotted here is 2. So why are these two colors compared to the mountain mist? Because they symbolize the freshness, purity, simplicity and innocence of a young girl. Okay, These are the qualities which is similar to the qualities of a mountain. Whenever we be, we go to the mountain, there is a kind of freshness, there is a purity, there is a kind of simplicity in that beauty, isn't it? So that is why the silver and blue color of the mountains is compared to the colors or colors of bangles which are suitable for a, for a maiden. Okay, The freshness, the purity and the simplicity and the innocence is comparable in both the cases. Next we will move on to the second question. 
again figure of speech is a very important question from uh, from bengal sellers okay all the figures of speech is are very important which figure of speech used here is used in the bird's dream whenever we talk about an inanimate thing with and provide them with some attributes which is given to human beings or living beings it becomes a personification so the figure of speech used here is personification normally birds do not dream human beings dream so that is a personification to personify what what we are writing in the second line we are writing the definition of personification we provide human attributes to inanimate or dead things here the birds growing inside growing beside the stream in a forest cozily dream they are dreaming it is said that the birds beside the stream which grows beside the stream are dreaming cozily and these birds symbolize the young girls who are innocent and pure done now we'll move to question number 3 give the meaning of some are flushed like the birds that dream on a tranquil brow of a woodland stream you have to explain this line very easy some of the bangles have the colors like the birds that are soon going to bloom beside a stream there is a stream and beside it on the banks of it we have these flowers we have these buds growing okay all, all along the bank of the river where is this river this river is in a forest okay so these bangles are pink in color and are suitable for a maiden's wrist what do they symbolize they symbolize the freshness purity and innocence that is it next we'll move to question number 4 what is meant by the limpid glory of newborn leaves again we have to explain the meaning of this and what these newborn leaves are symbolic of some of the bangles are similar to the colors of glowing flowers or clear dew drops on newborn leaves whenever you see a newborn leaf over it you can you often find dew drops isn't it on a winter morning you find dew drops on newborn leaves so these dew drops and the flowers that grow from these leaves this is all of those images that have a kind of freshness this is an important point they are pure they are innocent and all these are symbolic to the purity innocence freshness of a young maiden that is why these two things are compared with one another okay that is all for today and next we will do the in the next class we will also deal with the other two stanzas of the poem i think this part is clear and all the questions are well discussed if you have any problem with any other question or if if you think uh, you want to know the answer to any other question from these two stanzas you can write it down in the comment section thank you so much i hope you have liked my video please like and subscribe thank you